Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be sharing today's video with you. If you've been following my channel for a couple years, you know that I love back to school time. I'm an elementary school teacher and I absolutely love back to school. There's just something so nostalgic about it. There's just something that makes me so excited and hopeful for the upcoming year and just really positive and just really really excited i get really really pumped when i see all of the back to school stuff come out so in today's video i would like to share with you a shop with me and haul of everything that i found at the target dollar spot i think that target does such a great job with back to school items because they know what teachers are looking for and they know what's trendy and what kind of items teachers like to have in their classrooms and they sort of marry those two things together they just always create such fun items for their back to school line it's been quite a while since I've done a dollar spot video and I think it's called bullseyes playground bullseye playground bulls eyes wow this is really hard for me to say it's the dog and they call it his playground. I'm pretty sure that's what they say, what, they, what the name of it is now. I was inspired to go to the dollar spot today because I've been seeing some YouTubers share some different items that they've been finding at the dollar spot, and I really wanted to go see all of the back to school stuff for myself. So in today's video, I would like to share with you first a little bit of shop with me from the store that I went to. I actually ended up going to two different stores, and then we will come back and I will share a haul of everything that I found for my classroom. So first, let's go shopping at the dollar spot. Hi everyone, so I wanted to jump on here and just talk a little bit about what I saw at the dollar spot for back to school, but before I start that, I wanted to let you all know something really exciting. I have actually just started a new YouTube channel all about working with English language learners, and it is called The World in Our Classroom. I am so excited to be able to start this new adventure and have a YouTube channel completely dedicated to working with English language learners and being a teacher, and I'm so excited to be able to share that with you. I have posted part two of my classroom setup series on that channel. So if you're interested in learning more about how to work with English language learners and what my life is like as an English as a new language teacher, make sure that you check out the world in our classroom. I have linked a card above that will take you right to the channel and I have also put the information in the description box below. So please go ahead and check it out. I am so excited to start this new journey with you all. I have to say that I really loved the aesthetic of everything that I found at the Target dollar spot for back to school. I felt like there were so many positive and inspirational messages. I also love all of the different bulletin board things that they have and all of the different posters. I really, really loved all of these wooden displays and I thought these crayons were so cute. But my favorite definitely has to be all of the back to school stuff that was around the world themed. I have been waiting so long for all of this to be at the local stores and it just makes my heart happy because as you know, it's my favorite th theme to have and I've had it for so many years in my classroom. I feel like you can never have too many stickers, but at the same time, I have a really, really large sticker collection in my classroom. I actually found a lot of it at a nursery school that was actually closing, and the woman was selling everything very cheap, so I actually do have a lot of stickers. Then I found these really cool card holders. I really liked the idea of putting like a little gift card for another teacher in one of those. I just thought it was a sweet idea. Of course, they had lots of different plastic items that you could use, different organizers, different bins that you can use. These were actually an interesting shape. I thought those were pretty cool. And the one thing about the Target Dollar Spot and the plastic items that they have is that the plastic is a little sturdier. So sometimes you go to different stores and it's just not as stable and it just doesn't last as long. I also love all of the felt items that I found at the Dollar Spot this year. I think felt is such a fun way to work with kids because you can use it so easily. You can create so many fun pieces. I also think that Patricia Keel from the channel Living Even Keel did a video about making your own DIY felt board. If I can find that, I will link that above as well. But I just love the idea of being able to use felt in the classroom. I 
I also have quite the selection of these blank books in my classroom already. I think they're great for using them as final projects. If you're working on like the writing process and you're ready for your final draft, giving a student something like one of those books and then having them do their best work in that book is just kind of like an extra special um, thing that you can do with the kids. One of my colleagues actually did that years ago and I definitely took the idea from her. I love these first and last day of school signs. I think they're such a neat idea. And one thing I was actually thinking when I was looking at these is that I actually sort of have a unique situation within my job at the school that I work at because I work with students sometimes for several years because it can take several years to learn a language. And so I could actually take those signs and have and take pictures of the students over the years that they are with me where some teachers work with a student for a year or maybe two years at the most and don't really have that same opportunity. So I sort of thought about picking up one of those, but I didn't. As you can see, there were so many fun items at the dollar spot, and I think that if I had gone just a couple days before, I would have had more of a selection, because between the two stores, I feel like I saw most of the selection that, that was out originally, but it was picked through, as you saw in the video, like fairly picked through when I got there. And from what I was told, it's only been out for like a week at my store. We get so excited about back to school stuff. I don't know, I don't know. It gets us so excited for the upcoming school year. So I'm sure there were a lot of teachers there looking through everything just like I was. And if you're unfamiliar with what I do, which I know most of you are because you've been following my channel for a while, um, I want to make sure that everybody understands what I do before I continue. So I am an elementary English as a new language teacher and I work with kids who are learning English in kindergarten through fifth grade. I work with students who speak Spanish, Chinese, Ukrainian, Arabic, I think that's it. Spanish, Chinese, Ukrainian, and Arabic. So it's a variety of languages. Students range in age between five and like 11 years old. So I love to be as creative as I can be with my teaching because my students learn best creatively, if that makes sense. They, they learn best when they see things, they learn best when they can feel things, when they can smell things. Um, the more diverse experiences that they can have, the better it is for them to be able to understand what's going on and to really enjoy learning. So all of that to say, a lot of these things are going to be really helpful with my English language learners. And the first thing I wanna share with you is so cute. I am so excited to use this in my room. So I found, two of these little mini tents. The first one I found is red, and then I found like a navy blue one. And if you can see on the picture, they have a little stuffed animal in there. And it's like a little tent for a stuffed animal or a little creature. And I, like right here it says not for a real pet. But what I want to do with this is actually take them and do almost like a what's in like what's in the bag type activity with them where maybe I put different things underneath these tents and have them guess what we're going to be learning about maybe even put their hands in it and try to feel it and figure out what's in there um, I got two different colors in case I wanted to do like a team activity where you know there's the blue team and the red team and they try to trick each other or they try to figure out something or they maybe they create something and then the other team has to guess but I thought this was such a neat little find and I know a lot of my colleagues have have a uh, camping themed classroom which is adorable so cute my classroom is around the world themed it's been that way since maybe my second year teaching and I think it's always going to be that because I just love around the world stuff so anyway so I thought this could be fun for some different type of activities with the students different type of guessing games um, and also for my colleagues who have uh, the camping theme I think that this would be so cute so I picked up two of those they were how much were you? $3 a piece. And I think they're so cute. And I think these were actually half off. I think they were $1.50 because they weren't technically in the back to school section. They were in the dollar spot, but I think they were only at a, actually $1.50. Do you ever forget what you bought and then you saw it and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So then I found 
two of these little wands. So the first one is a globe. Like I said, I have an around the world themed classroom. And then the next one is a star. I use pointers in my classroom a lot. I have pointers that I found at Dollar Tree. They're like little fingers and I use them for everything. My kids use them for everything, but I thought these were kind of fun. One, because they're wooden, but two, because this has a little star in it. It's a little more special, you know, maybe I, uh, there's so many things you could do with it. You could use it for reading. You could use it for identifying different vocabulary. I love when I'm teaching to take my kids around the school to help them learn things. So for my beginner, beginner students, uh, when we learn colors in English, I like to, I have these giant oversized crayons and we go and color the school. So if we see red, we take these big crayons and pretend to color the floor with red. Um, so sort of along the same lines with these, I thought this could be really fun for a, you know, for a reading activity or for, you know, we're transforming or something like that um, because it's a little star, it's almost like a fairy wand. And then this I thought could be really fun for our travels around the world. I love to teach my kids using the world as our stage. It sounds really grand and crazy, but I love to take them on trips places, imaginary trips to different places. I love to teach them about different countries and I love to help them learn through culture and learn through different languages and learn through experiences. And so I thought that this could be fun when we go to a different country, maybe we go to the map and we point it with our little um, globe thing, our little world wooden thing. I don't even know what you would call this. One count teacher pointer globe. Okay, they are calling it a globe. So I thought this could be fun. And another thing is like, when you're working with kids, you might not know, but when you're working with kids, it's good to have that repetition and those familiar things. So anytime I pull this out, the kids will know that we're going to be traveling someplace. Maybe they'll know this is a special one and they'll get excited for that. So I picked up two of these. They were a dollar a piece. They had a couple others that I shared in the video. I think they had a an apple and then they also had a light bulb as well. So the next thing, and I just have to say, Target had a lot of that global around the world themed stuff. So I wanna say thank you Target because I just love it. It makes me so excited. I, I want all of the around the world things. So along those lines, I found these socks. You don't need, I definitely didn't need these for the classroom, but they're adult socks. They were a dollar and I want to wear them just cause they're cute. So I picked this up. Then I found this Explore Dream Discover little bucket, I guess you would call it. A little pail, metal pail is what they're calling it. And I thought I could put pencils in here, I could put a hall pass in here, I could really do anything. But I really want to spend a lot of time decorating my classroom this summer and getting ready for the next year. And I really want to just have it be this whole international around the world theme. This was only a dollar, I thought this was really cute and it might be a little hard to see but it has almost like grid paper on it. Oh, my autofocus is not working. So yeah, I like that. What do I want to share with you next? Oh, I want to share with you this. So then I found this. This is so cute. I love this. It's another globe. I think it might be considered like a pencil holder. Yeah, a pencil holder. And it says explore, dream, discover. I just think this is so cute. And it has these holes on the top and it is also painted in the back. So it's like complete theming. I know my kids are going to love this. One of the many good things about working with English language learners is sometimes you have them for multiple years and my students love, love, love to learn about international things and they love to travel with me on our imaginary trips places and um, I know they're going to really love the theming. I have this vision in my head of how I want my room set up this year so I'm hoping this will work out but I'm just very grateful to Target for sharing these global things this year because my kids are international and it's just nice to see things that show how we are united as a world. I thought this was really cute and it was only $3 so I'm really excited to put this in my desk area. I don't have a specific teacher desk, I sort of just have a table that I put my stuff on but um, we'll see what we can get going for this year so that maybe I have a little bit more of a dedicated space. Next thing I found is this lesson planner. I wasn't sure that I wanted to get this. I actually have been doing lesson planning on Google Drive, Google Docs, and I really enjoyed doing that this year because I was able to access it from anywhere. It was paperless. I could just pull it up whenever. But 
there were times that I just really wanted a paper uh, planner to use. So I think I might just have it in two spots, maybe have my lesson plans online, but also transfer them over here. Um, I know for me, it was hard to not have a planner for dates and for specific things, you know, um, meetings, things like I needed, things that I needed to go to that I needed to remember. That was a challenge this year and I was actually sent by a sweet subscriber an entire box of Happy Planner supplies and so I ended up using a planner from her for most of the year after she sent that box to me and it was super helpful, especially for testing season. So. I found this planner. I liked the design of it. It just felt like everything teacher and everything school related and I love that. So on the inside you have like a long range planning pages just for things out like further out. Then you have like a month at a glance on two pages and it's also on grid paper which is kind of cool. And then you have weekly planning on the spread is on two pages and I think maybe in the back you have a spot for phone numbers classroom news you know little fun things little added added touches but I'm excited to give it a try again this year I know that I'll be using Google Docs for planning but I definitely felt like I needed to have a paper planner as well so this was three dollars I thought that was a really good deal the next thing I found is something for my students and I mean all of this is for my students and for me, but like this is something I want to use, have them use it as a station. So they are alphabet stamps and just these clear stamps that have the letters on the front and I thought this could be really fun for a station for independent work when we're working on writing, working on labeling things, all of the different ways that you can get kids to write without them knowing that they're writing sometimes if they're reluctant is really important and it's a good way to assess what they can do. It's a good way to assess their independence and their fine motor skills even if they're really young and if they have a hard time manipulating something like this. So I picked these up I like that the letters are just plain and they are all capital letters, which I think is fine. And I picked up two packs of these just so I could have them separate so that I could have two students working on it. But you, you know it's gonna get all mixed up and I'm gonna have to clean it up. But I know Dollar Tree also has like those little sandwich containers. Maybe I could put them in one of those. That's actually a really good idea. So I picked two packs of these up. They were $3 as well. I feel like a lot of the stuff in this haul was $3. So this next thing I found in the, in the dollar spot as well, and I don't think it's necessarily educational, but I'm going to use it that way. It's this oversized tic-tac-toe game, and it's all made of wood, and you just sort of set it up, and it's just you know big and oversized. I want to use this for comprehension questions. I actually did this over the school year where I had Jenga in my classroom and any time that the student wanted to pull a Jenga piece out, they had to answer a question first. So it'll be a similar thing where I set up the game. If we're doing like a comprehension question, they'll, you know, one student will be X, one will be O's, and then they have to answer a question before they can actually move the piece. So I thought that was a really fun find and even just for a game day, um, that could also be really fun too. So this was $5, a little more expensive, but you can never have too many of these games for the kids. I saw these next things and I was really, really happy to have found them. So I found a United States felt map. So it's a big felt map and then it has these tiny little landmark pieces in a separate bag. I love felt. It feels very nostalgic to me because I remember learning a lot with felt, um, you know, just in different classes and so I think this is really fun. Maybe we could hang it on the wall and we could look at it and if we go to a different landmark sort of mark it with the, the little piece right there. Um, and I thought, I just thought this was really fun and I just love, I love the around the world theme. So $5 I don't think was too bad. And then I also got one in a world map. And it was, it's fun because it has little creatures on there too, which I think is fun. And I, and I like this because it has animals. Instead of marking landmarks, it actually marks different animals. And they're actually kind of tiny. Like they look pretty big on here, but they're actually, they're pretty small. So I'm excited to use this in my classroom. I know my kids are going to love this. They're going to have so much fun playing with this or using this to mark where we're learning. So $5 for this as well. I thought that was a good deal. Oh, I was really excited to find these. I found these sand timers. 
and there are four different times on here. That's what made me really, really happy because I know Dollar Tree has these, but they only have them in, I think it's either one minute or two minute intervals, but on the bottom it says how long each one is, and there's a one minute, a two minute, a three minute, and a five minute in these tiny, tiny little, little ones. So I was really, really happy to have found these because having the different interval of time is really crucial in you know, using these for different centers or different activities. And so I thought it was great that they had four different times on there. I will definitely be using those. And sometimes it's nice to have something like this instead of like a beeping timer, which I definitely, I use those. Like that's the Dollar Tree. You need to get your timers at the Dollar Tree because they're only a buck and I use timers all the time. But sometimes if you don't want like a beep, 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 it's nice to have a little sand timer. And I found these, I thought these were really cool. So they are stamps and then they have different uh, sayings on them. So the top one says parent signature, correct and return, great work, you can do it and much improved. I need more of these things in my life, just like a comment and a stamp, you know? Um, I just think this is really fun. These were $3 and I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna try to use more stamps this year. I don't know why I loved stamps as a kid, so I wanna be able to provide the love of stamps for my students, that's a weird thing to say. I found these, they're calling them wall accents, but they're really like poster images almost. So the first one that I found is a set of all of the planets. This is really cool because they're very realistic looking. I appreciate that because Sometimes it's nice to have the cartoony type look and everything and, and to have it be whimsical, but other times it's really nice to have them be realistic looking. I know that third grade definitely learns about the planets and so I'm really excited to maybe even share these with my colleague. I just think that this is really, really cool, nice pictures, very realistic, and I'm really excited that I found these. These were only $3. And this last one was also only $3 and there are all different types of animals. At least the ones I can see are horses, I see a panda, I think there was a kangaroo, an ostrich, so again, actual pictures of the animals. And that's it for this back to school dollar spot haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I found from my classroom. Please check out my blog at thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. And if you don't have an Instagram but would like to stay up to date with what I'm doing, you can follow me on Facebook at thriftedlivingpage. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.